What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and I hope you are ready to do another awesome workout from the Fit Club. You guys, today's workout is from one of my most popular programs called Tread 1.0. Today we are doing uh, a workout called um, full body, um, full body, full body hit cardio. A little bit of everything. It's like a circuit, a weighted circuit, so it gets you sweating. So. We're going to do that today. You guys, again, I just want to remind you, I would truly be so grateful if you would go and hit that thumbs up. It lets me know that you like these videos, that you want to see more of these, and it lets me know that you're, you're for this. Um, as well as if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe. You'll be notified when I do upload new videos. And again, it shows your support for me doing these. You guys, again, I'm doing these so you get a little taste of what the Fit Club is all about and who I am as a coach. And you know, my goal in my heart in doing this is that wherever you're at in life right now, that you will leave this workout feeling healthier, stronger, and more confident. That is my heart, that is my hope for you today. You know, uh, we're just doing a block today. It should take around 12 minutes for the workout. Um, this isn't how long the workout is. This is just an example of one of the blocks in the workout, okay? So I hope you feel energized. Uh, remember, it's just 12 minutes of your day. You got this, you can do this. Okay, so what do you need for today? You need either a dumbbell, you need a couple sets of dumbbells. A dumbbell um, uh, calls for a weighted plate, but again, if you don't have weighted plates, I'm gonna show you how to use a dumbbell. I'm going to hit on the home version of the app. You can do that within the app. Uh, but before we get started, oh yeah, you will need a pillow. It is not for sleeping. If you don't have a slam ball at home, if you do, then grab your slam ball. If not, I'm gonna show you kind of how to make the movement with a pillow. Um, again, we are not sleeping during this workout. It's just for a prop, okay? All right, today's daily dose of motivation. It's titled, Stop Giving Up Too Soon. Persist and persevere. You will find that most things are attainable and possible. It's not that you cannot reach your health and fitness goals, it's that you give up too soon. Your results take time and patience. Results take you learning to fall in love with the journey and process. Results take perseverance through life's challenges. It's not about doing things perfectly, but finding the treasure in the lesson in the trials. Anything is possible if you believe and don't give up. Do you believe that you can achieve your goals? Do you believe? That is the most important part of this journey, is you have to believe that what you are working for is attainable if you keep going. All right, you guys, that's your daily dose of motivation. Now let's get into the workout. Okay, like I said, today is called HIIT Cardio and Full Body Circuit. We're only doing one of those, which is the Full Body Circuit. This is day three from the Shred 1.0 um, challenge, and they all have recorded live workouts if that is what you want when you join. Okay, so we have six exercises. It's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. It's four rounds. We're not doing four rounds today. We're just doing two rounds just to give you an idea of the workout, okay? If you want longer workouts or this something that you love, make sure you comment below this video any questions or requests um, so I'll know what to do going forward after I've done these videos, okay? All right, let's get ready to go. So we have a weighted plate squat or weighted overhead squats, okay? And then we have a slam ball with a burpee. Again, if you don't have a slam ball, we're just gonna use the pillow, boom half burpee, we're not going down to the stomach, um, we're just doing a plank style burpee. Then you have overhead weighted reverse lunges, you're gonna hold that weight over your head, just like the squat, and do alternating reverse lunges. The overhead squat is gonna look like this, all right? And then we've got rotating squat jumps. You're gonna start like this, rotating, and back, and this way, just like that, okay? Then we have a plank pull through. That's what this was for. Okay, you're gonna put a weight here. You're gonna go into a plank, okay? Hands stacked under shoulders. You're gonna grab that weight, pull it through. Hand goes there, pull it through. Trying to keep your hips square. You can do this from your knees, but just make sure you're lean forward and your core is tight. You're not like this, okay? All right, and then we just have a plank hold. That's it, that's all. So. 
We're gonna put on the timer. And so grab that weight. I'm gonna use a dumbbell just to show you. You're gonna grab that weight. It's gonna go over your head. Feet a little bit wider than hips. Drive those hips back, down, and press up. You want your weight evenly distributed on your feet. You don't wanna fully be in your heels, but you don't wanna fully be in your toes. You want your feet flat on the ground. Push the world away as you come up. You want those arms locked out and those knees should track toes. So push those knees out so that they follow your toes. 10 seconds. Chest up, core tight. And rest. Okay, slam ball, burpees. All right, I'm gonna show you with the pillow first. You're gonna slam that pillow down. Maybe I'll go this way. Yeah. Oh yeah, we get a bit of a break. Okay, all right, stand up. Slam that pillow down. Jump your feet back, jump your feet up. Up, and slam it back. If you have a slam ball, use your slam ball. It adds extra weight. Again, you can step back. You don't have to add the jump. If you are new, just step back into that plank. Step up and come up and down. And just like that. All right, boom, done. We have overhead weighted reverse lunges. So with the plate, I'm gonna show you what it looks like because I did the weight with the squat. So arms are locked out at the top. Shoulders out of ears. You're squeezing your back muscles together. Core is tight, okay? You're gonna step that foot back. You're gonna lunge to where your knee touches the ground. Step up, other leg. Keep that core nice and tight. Your shoulders will feel this from holding that weight over your head. Take your time with these. It's not fast lunges. Form first. Ten seconds. We got this. Ten seconds. Like I said, we're only doing two rounds today. Just to give you a taste, if you do want them longer or the full rounds, just comment below the video that that's what you would like me to do and I will do it. Um, again, if you want to just rewatch the video and do it two more times, you absolutely can too. All right, okay, in that plank position. All right, pull that weight through. Other side, keep the hips square, tighten the tummy. Grab that weight, pull it through. Keep the shoulders out of your ears. Oh, planks get me every time, you guys. I'm not gonna say hate them. Won't say that. They are good for you. It's just, they're hard. Again, you can go from your knees for this 2K. We've got a plank hold, and then we're back at the beginning. Okay, down on your forearms. All right, again, you can go from your knees or from your toes. Wherever you're at in your fitness level, meet yourself there, okay? Move that. Okay, forearms stacked underneath shoulders, heels back, pull your tummy, belly button in. Shoulders out of ears, everything is stacked. All right, your core is tight. And just go to your happy place. <sighs> I find planks. So challenging. It is not my strength. I would like it to be. It's just. Pull that belly button in. Yikes. We got this. Oh, rest. Okay, we're gonna go to those squats. Weighted overhead squats. I'm gonna use my plate, but use your dumbbell. 
Okay, if you use two dumbbells because you don't, your dumbbell's not heavy enough, that's okay. Make sure those arms are locked out and controlled at the top, okay? Make sure your shoulder blades are strong behind, pinched to protect your form. Let's go. Squats, okay. Knees, track toes, chest up. You may only get to here. Depends how tall you are, how long your limbs are, how good your mobility is. I have crazy mobility and flexibility, so I can get pretty low. But the thing is, you want good form, and you want to be doing it correctly. So, don't go at a heavy weight if you can't even get your form down. And rest. Okay, slam ball burpees. I'm gonna use a slam ball this time. These are fun. If you don't have one, get one. Okay. We're gonna slam some paint. And uh, you know, sometimes it feels good. Slam paint. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let's go. Slam the ball. Jump back. I'm so used to doing burpees to my stomach. It feels weird. And just to uh, hop back to a plank. We got this. Get that heart rate up. Good job. Keep going. If you're stepping, jumping, just keep your pace consistent. Rest, okay. And we have got our lunges, okay? Overhead, overhead. I can never talk. Overhead, okay. Again, chest up, arms locked out at the tops. Controlled, shoulders active, squeezed down, core tight. You're gonna step back, lunge down till that knee hits the ground. Step up, other leg, all the way. Your knees want to bend 90 degrees. All right, brace your core and control your movement. You got it. We got this. Cool. If your back feels it, it means you're, you've let your core go. So tighten your tummy, pull that belly button in. You don't want to arch your lower back. And rest. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, we forgot rotating squat jumps. My bad. Okay, my bad. We're gonna have to do them at the very end. We're gonna do them now, but I forgot them. So, you're gonna jump. And again, you can, you're gonna jump, rotate to the back, either way. We'll have to add these. Again, if you want to step, it's going to look like this. Step, step, step. Okay. I do this every time. I'll forget. <laughs> oh, these burn. It's like maybe subconsciously I didn't want to do these. So I just skipped over them. Who knows? But we're gonna do that. Okay, let's go plank, plank pulses. Okay. All right, get that weight on the outside of your hands. I like to put my hands above it. Okay? Hands stacked under shoulders. Pull that weight through. Get your positioning before you grab the weight. Nice and tight and strong. Like if someone was to try to push you over, you're braced, your core is braced. Pull that belly button up. Tighten the glutes. Keep the shoulders out of your ears. We got this. Oh, one more. There we go. Okay, plank hold. And then we have those rotating squat jumps. 
and then we're done. And that's two rounds. And you're done, baby. You are done. And I bet you feel way better than when you first started. I bet your mindset is in a different place than when we first did this. All right, plank. Let's go. Elbows under shoulders. Heels back, knees up. Tight core. Pull that belly button in. You don't want your lower back arch like this. Tuck the tush in and pull the belly button up and the rib cage in. You should look as flat as a board. Whew. Again, brace. If someone was to try to push you over, think about being tight, braced, solid. Okay, way to go. We have rotating squat jumps, my bad for forgetting them the first round, but that's okay because we're doing them, right? That's all right, we save, save the best for last. The best, which is that burn, right? Finish with that burn, okay. <laughs> Here we go, let's go. Explode, forward, sideways, again, again. Supposed to burn, fight through that lactic acid. Build up, it's gonna burn. Lactic threshold. This is what we're getting. This is what we are building. The ability to push past the burn. Get stronger. We'll feel better. Give me five. Give me a high five. You did it, I am so proud of you. So again, that was half the circuit. You would do it two more times in the Fit Club app. Again, you can rewind this and do this again with me. I just wanna give you a little taste and I wanted you to be able to fit this into your day. That was the most important part. Sometimes when we're in those ruts, we lost our clarity, we lost our motive. Sometimes we just need someone with a with a tow truck to pull us out. And, and so I'm hoping to be that for you, just to get you out, get you unstuck, make you feel good. You should feel good right now. And uh, little by little, little becomes a lot. So honestly, just keep going, keep pushing, knowing that it's going to have a compound effect. Make sure you go nourish your body. Have something with protein and carbs. Your body needs it. The more you fuel your body and fuel it like you were an athlete, the more you'll train like an athlete, the more you'll be strong like an athlete, the better you'll sleep, the better mood you'll have, the better your hormones will be, the better your energy through the day will be, and the more power and performance you'll have for your workouts. All right, you guys, I love you all. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe, comment your questions, concerns. I'm here to help you. I am your coach. And uh, don't hold anything back. Everything is in the show notes. See you next time, you guys. Bye.